Hi. There are uh, always new discoveries talking about how to uh, improve your life, improve your health, the way of thinking. And uh, sometimes you can be wearing the glasses and you are looking for it. There are so many uh, ingredients or so many uh, prescriptions from God which shows that uh, they are good for our health and our life, our souls. And we don't actually look at it with, uh, in, a, in, a, in a thoughtful way. Uh, we always uh, follow what people are saying. Like uh, lately, I can see people who are talking about fasting. And fasting is, is, is in our lives. It's, it's very important to fast. It's good for the body. It's good for the brain. It makes you feel that you are peaceful. And, and, and it's good for life because when the vibration of your body is, is a peaceful vibrations, then you will attract all the good in life. Uh, we are uh, uh, commanded to uh, fast three uh, days a month, uh, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th, because there are high levels of vibrations in the universe, uh, which is causing us to feel in our bodies that we are uh, some kind imbalanced. And you can, you can see that so many crimes happen in, 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 in such uh, dates and uh, Prophet Muhammad said that if when it's good to uh, fast in such uh, days so we will be balanced and we'll be able to charge our uh, ourselves with good vibrations when there are crimes in such dates that doesn't mean that the vibration in the universe is bad it, the vibrations are good it's just that we need to know how to manage them in order to charge ourselves with the good vibrations. Or for example, the month of Ramadan or uh, fasting every Monday and Thursday. It's when the angels, they come down to take all the good that you did in your life or the bad and uh, for the other angels to write it in their books. So uh, it will be calculated. That is every Monday and Thursday. They are really organized. Um, for example, the way of eating, um, uh, Prophet Muhammad said that uh, we don't eat unless we are hungry and when we eat, we don't feel that we are full. And it's a, an amazing way of balancing your weight, uh, balancing the way you eat and your lust for, for, for uh, food uh, and, and to be always in balance. Uh, for example, uh, a case came to me he was he couldn't find uh, a treatment for his muscles of his thighs and I asked him how about of your prayers do you go up and you kneel down uh, he said no I pray when I'm sitting I said well you can you can try this and see that all will be gone inshallah so he did that and all was gone he is now healthy he is uh, praying as uh, uh, he should pray and what I'm saying is there are so many um, things that we can discover within the Quran, within uh, other prophets also about vibrations. Now, it's uh, obvious that uh, high vibrations were surrounding uh, Prophet Jesus because he used to walk on water, he used to um, treat people, uh, uh, heal people, and it's all after God's will, of course. Uh, and when you look at his life and the way his lifestyle he didn't he wasn't eating that much of a meat uh, I think completely he didn't eat meat he was always eating from the leaves of the trees and the seeds the same goes with the Prophet Muhammad he didn't eat that much meat because too much meat is not good for the body uh, you can have diseases if you eat every day every day meat and uh, things like that when we look into them the the, the, the the amazing vibrations uh, which were surrounding uh, Prophet Ibrahim when they threw him in fire and nothing hurt him so they are all from God and the source is God and when I also the the, um, uh, the knowledge and the new uh, discoveries about uh, uh, energy and all these things they are all uh, based uh, in what God is saying when I feel the vibrations from the angels and from God, from this connection, these are all vibrations. And when I see some people, uh, they are abusing such thing. And when you feel that you are some kind confused, just uh, be away from them. 
or if you are really understanding what vib what vibrations mean and uh, how to heal yourself with vibrations you can always make additions to the uh, sciences that you're getting but it's like when I uh, I do the breathing technique yoga it's uh, on my website with the um, you know calling God and saying some uh, of his names and thanking God so I would feel the gratitude things like that you can always add to uh, what you know around you and, and believe that when God says that this is forbidden it's for our our own good he wants us to be satisfied it's not just to forbid you from doing that when when God's saying that I uh, uh, drinking alcohol is forbidden it's it's for your own good health otherwise your your liver will be damaged your emotions are will be damaged also you will be full of anger so when God actually commanded commanded us to do something it's for our own good it's not just to uh, follow what he's saying and and leave what he's telling us that is forbidden when you think about them you will feel that they are prescriptions for your life uh, for your uh, money for example when he tells you to give to the poor it's to make your money grow it's not by bribing people or stealing from people for example because he forbid it that because uh, your kids will be damaged with diseases this is well known about the dirty money mm -hmm. and and you can notice that when you see examples in life things like that so when we follow it's it's not just we follow without understanding uh, we want it's it's nice to follow because you want to please God and at the same time I want you to know that these rules and regulations from God it's to satisfy you they are from God to satisfy so uh, uh, yeah yeah we should look at them with, with with wide open eyes and understand them and appreciate them bye